Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Delaney. I love thrifting, home decor, my cats, plants, all the good stuff, and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a giant thrift haul. As you guys know, I am prepping for my next shop opening, which we just announced will be June 19th. So just a little bit over a month. So I've been working really, really hard to gather up as much as I can, which means lots of giant thrift hauls for you guys. Is. and I need to remember to take you guys thrifting with me soon just like a little thrift with me video because I'm sure you guys would like to see that too um so yeah I've got a giant bin full of stuff I don't even remember how many stores this is from I've also been hitting up a lot of garage sales um it is now officially garage sale season so if you only thrift I challenge you to go out and go garage sailing as well because you never know what you can find and it's usually way cheaper than a thrift store Okay, as you can see, I've got lots of stuff around me. I don't even have room for all of this, but I'm gonna start with the accessories. I found not one, but two vintage coach purses. And if you didn't know, the vintage coach purses that are leather like this usually sell really well for around, this one I'm not sure about, but this other style I'm gonna show you usually sells for close to 100. I need to look up this one still, but it's so cute and the style is very on trend so i'm just gonna clean up the leather a little bit and make it shiny and it'll be good to go i got this for only two bucks at a garage sale so that was a score the next bag i got i got at goodwill for four dollars um it's real leather and i just thought it was really cute and really on trend so i'll probably put this on my depop next bag also going on my depop i paid 4.29 for it's this absolutely beautiful like little alligator skin and these really bright colors especially green and orange are really in this season um neutrals are still in but everyone's pairing them with like a pop of color like a bag like this um so i'm gonna try to get this listed very soon because i think it will sell really quickly and then the other coach purse I was telling you about is this one. It's this really pretty green color. Um, it has this little, I think this is called a turnkey lock, I think. Um, and the bags with these locks usually sell for the higher price, like I said. Um, and again, I'll just clean up this leather, but this one is in like perfect condition and i did pay up for this i paid 14.99 but like i said i think i could probably get 75 to 100 on this i haven't looked it up um but usually this style bag goes for around that and i'm the only reason i say maybe 75 is because i don't know about the color i know that brown and black sell really well but not sure about this like emerald green next thing kind of in the accessories category i love picking up gold jewelry because it's very popular right now but i love picking up for myself also i think that vintage gold jewelry it's obviously not real gold um lasts longer like the necklaces that i have thrifted or rings don't ever tarnish and i feel like the ones that you get today forgot to shut off the sound on my phone sorry um but the necklaces and stuff i wear today i feel like that you buy at the store really tarnish unless they're really good quality Anyways, I just love picking them up. They're really unique. This one is just a really pretty chain type material and it's got the double necklace here. And then I got this really pretty one. We do have a little section in our shop where we put jewelry. So I will probably put these there. Okay, now in to the home goods. First up is this leather pillow i'm not sure if it's real leather it kind of feels like it but again not sure it was only a dollar 99 and i picked this up to keep i will just disinfect it and then probably just put it on a bed i think it will look really cute and match my colors really well i got this at a garage sale for a dollar it is a giant accordion rack this one was really really big so i definitely could not pass this up um, I've definitely sold a lot of these in the past, so I pretty much always will pick these up. The next thing I paid at $2.99 for this really pretty wood bowl. Um, again, I wouldn't always pay $2.99 for something like this, but like I said before, I'm trying to fill up my shop inventory, so I don't mind paying a little bit more. I would rather have less profit margin than empty shelves, if that makes sense. 
Um, so yeah, just picked it up. It's really cute. Next, I thought this was super cool. I got these for $4.99. It's a pack of these plastic butterflies. You guys have seen me pick these up before. They pretty much always sell. I would probably, and I might spray paint these. I'm not sure. They're kind of like if they were just plain white, I'd probably leave them, but they're like an off-white, like a creamy white. So, I don't know, but I love the bigger ones with like these swirls in them. I think they're so cute. So, I got a total of six of these for $4.99, so not too bad. The next thing I got, I paid $2.99 for this. It is a little mid-century modern bar shot glass set <laughs> um i absolutely love mid-century modern barware it sells really really well and this one was just so stinking cute i love this and it looks really like modern to today so i couldn't pass this up the next piece i got this at a garage sale for 50 cents it's just one of these cute wall fans i've seen people put these in their basket wall collages um but i think it would look really cute on the wall by itself as well Moving on to some more baskets, I paid, oh gosh, I can't remember, I'm sorry. I don't know how much I paid for this one, but it's just this really pretty plant basket. I always love putting plants in these, but you could really use this for just about anything. Next, I paid $1.49 and $1.99 for these two baskets. You guys have seen me pick up this type of basket a hundred times, but I just like to. They have pretty fruits on the side oh wait this one doesn't have fruits this one wait does it it's like a mix there's flowers and i think vegetables i don't know kind of hard to tell but i like that this one came in a set of two step i paid 99 cents for this really cute little tray i personally loved these bamboo handles and i liked the light color of this um, I'm not exactly sure what exactly you could use this for. Um, it would be really cute sitting on your vanity. I'm sure outside you could put napkins on it and use the handles to like hold the napkins down. Maybe that's what it was for. Um, I'm not sure, but it was cute regardless. I paid $2 for this at a garage sale. It's just a standard wicker tray. I feel like these are always good to have and I try to pick up all different colors of wicker. I personally gravitate more towards the lighter shades of wicker but I know a lot of people like darker shades as well so I try to mix it up and just pick up anything. Okay if you guys follow me on Instagram you guys will know I have a weird love for cutting boards. I love to display them and stack them all up together. I think it looks super pretty. So this time around I decided I <laughs> I'm not gonna keep all the cutting boards I thrift because I have enough and I'm going to start putting them in the shop And maybe people will like them as much as I do. I'm not really sure I'm gonna test it out and see but I've been picking up cutting boards if I see them and I got some really cute ones The first one was 50 cents. I think it's adorable. This one would be great for layering Maybe not so much actually cutting on but it would be a really cute decor piece as well as this one, this was $1.49. And I always like it when they have like a little leather string here or something. So I thought that these would be really cute together. And the last one I got was $1. Um, I think I got this, at, yes, I got this at a local thrift store. Um, and I, I just absolutely loved the shape of it. I'm sorry if you hear a noise. My cat is playing in this basket. You have to see this. Okay, they are so stinking cute. What the heck? Anyways, I thought that this would be really cute and for only a dollar, I had to pick it up. Looks like my camera battery is about to die, so I'll charge it and finish out the haul. Okay, my battery is charged. Ate some lunch. Good to go to finish this haul. I got this really pretty mirror at a garage sale for $2. Um, I absolutely, here we go love the detail of it this part is metal but it is very light which is nice um and the mirror does come off so you could spray paint this if you didn't like the brown i think it's really pretty um so i probably wouldn't spray paint it but it is a good find for sure like i said at garage sales you just never know what you're gonna find and only two bucks that's a really really good price and then i got some 
brass candlesticks, of course. This one I paid $2.49 for at Goodwill. I feel like Goodwill is charging a lot for brass candlesticks these days because $2.49 kind of seems like a lot. Um, and then these were $1.49 each and this was at a random thrift store, um, kind of like a smaller one. I got three trivets, which are super cute. This one was $2.99. It's just a really pretty brass trivet. It has a lot of great details. Again, I just always pick up brass. This one was super cool. I paid $4 for it and the back actually says from Vera and it says August 1971. So I thought that was super, super cool. It's metal out on the outside and then it just says bless this home and it's got a bunch of flowers on it. It's very 70s look. Um, obviously it is from the 70s. So I thought this was really pretty and I know somebody that really loves the 70s style would love that and then this was just a little cute thing it was 99 cents it is just a shell trivet i thought it was really pretty and i know that shells like this especially um the shells that are in like a plant hanger are really popular so i figured i would pick this up and try it out Okay, only two more things and they're both from a garage sale. This was $3 and it's not necessarily something I would normally pick up, but I just thought it was very, very pretty. I liked the color. It's this really pretty pottery piece. Um, I'm, I'm guessing it's a ceramic piece, obviously. I'm guessing this isn't like bakeware. I don't think you could bake this. I don't know. I don't know that much about ceramics but nonetheless you could definitely use it as a decor piece super pretty kind of boho but also kind of like a western style um, and I just really liked the details of it and my last piece this is really cute it was five dollars it's just a little I think these are called milking stools like People used to use them to obviously milk cows since they're really short to the ground. Um, if you see these at an antique store, they are usually super, super expensive. Um, and I've never found one before, so I picked it up. I think it personally would be a really cute plant stand. Um, you could just put it by your door and put some shoes on it. I don't know. It was just, it just caught my eye. And usually something that catches my eye, I always grab because usually that means I really like it. Hey guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. I have this huge pile of stuff that I really, really need to price and put into my shop. Um, I'll show you guys in just a second, but you guys have seen me do a haul of all of this. I've just been a little bit behind. I've just got a lot going on juggling a million things as you guys know um so the next order of business is i need to get the stuff i just showed you and all of the other stuff i'm about to show you priced and into my shop and i should be good to go we have a little over a month so i should be good to go but yes let me show you that really quick yeah i have a ton of stuff these are all three full plus emily has brought over a bunch of stuff that's in the shop as well that needs to be put away yeah, lots to do, but I really hope that you enjoyed this haul. Comment down below and let me know what was your favorite item, and I hope you guys have a great week. Bye, guys!